Hello Pichurinis and welcome back to another episode of our Disney Princess Challenge with Tiana in that beautiful New Orleans snow. You guys said I was saying New Orleans wrong. New Orleans, no, New Orleans, New Orleans, that's French. I don't know how to say it, man. I can't even pronounce English words, so asking me to pronounce like American words is just... You guys did say this was the Bayou. Bayou. I'm sure you said Bayou. But anyway, we are back in our challenge today. We've got these two little adorable cupcakes in here being a cute little father and daughter. I also made some changes to Tiana's appearance. Let me show you those real quick. And while that's loading, don't forget to give this video a big cheeky thumbs up if you're enjoying it and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another episode. Here is our updated little Tiana. I've been searching high and low for an alpha version of her hair. I haven't managed to find it but this is an alpha. This is actually Max's match. However, I feel like it's kind of similar to Tiana's hair. I also have changed some of her skin details and I've made her skin a couple of shades darker as well. The thing is, you all see my game with filters and then when I edit my video, I put additional filters on. So the end result doesn't always match how my skin looks in game, but I've tried to at least match her game skin as closely as possible to how she looked in the movie. So I think she looks super, super adorable. I'm going to edit the first thumbnails Mel to match her new appearance. So let me know what you guys think of her new appearance in the comments below. The other thing I realized we didn't do is I didn't show you guys what the challenge for this would be. So episode two, I'm going to introduce the Tiana challenge. It was fine though. She was a baby. You can't really set challenges to a baby because they're not really going to be able to do anything, are they? Like babies, they're kind of cute. But mainly they're useless. They just lie there. The one thing babies have over puppies, and we've realized this since getting a puppy, is at least babies poop and we in one place. Puppies do it everywhere, and that makes puppies real hard. But, like, babies are a bit more controlled and a bit more in one place with it. However, fear of children aside, let's get on to Generation 3 Tiana. The only way to get what you want in this world is through hard work. So, your family has barely accomplished anything over the past two generations. Harsh. We we got memories along the way. We had love. We had family. Like, that's a bit judgy for my liking, but Tiana is here to change that. This story begins with Tiana uh, when Tiana becomes a young adult. So, the big we do beforehand doesn't matter too much but I'm gonna try and match it to uh, the movie as well even though we don't see a great deal of her in that time so she must have the ambitious trait when I age her up I think it's with teenagers when she can get that her father must die before the end of her young adultness so it's pretty young I actually think maybe even teen would be a little bit more realistic still she must have the food aspiration and must marry a sim with green this can be hair eyes or skin and if you have the dine out expansion pack which I do then Tiana must own and run her own restaurant. This is the bit I am particularly excited about because if you haven't seen the movie, Tiana is, spends a lot of time trying to save up and renovate kind of what is an old mill house, I believe, into a place that she kind of imagines running like this called Tiana's Place. So it's very 1920s, very like, I don't know, it's just got quite a cool vibe to it. Here is the way it looks on the outside and it begins as a really rundown mill house. So what I think I will do is I will build, it's here, it's here, I will build this rundown mill house and place it somewhere in the world and we'll see what the price of it is and we'll, we'll use that as like an aim of what we need to get to with rags to riches. Once we start getting money from the restaurant we can slowly renovate it and hopefully end up with a Tiana's place that looks just like this one here with Tiana and her friends that she was with at the beginning. Here is of course Charlotte Leboeuf and her dad. Is he called Big Daddy or Big... I think he's called Big Daddy but his name is like Elia or Evan. I've added him to the game anyway. One of you guys uploaded him to the gallery and I've added him to the game. So yeah this is is what we're aiming for in this challenge. This is why I'm kind of low-key quite excited about this challenge because it is a rags to riches challenge but kind of packaged up into a Disney princess sort of globe or frog since it's princess and the frog. Can you package things into a frog? I don't know. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's like quarter past four when I'm recording this. I spent all of uh, the early morning and the late and the early afternoon in bed. I had so much cold and flu tablets last night that I actually couldn't wake up this morning. I felt, I still feel full of cold. So I need to buy a few extra bits for Tiana. We need like her potty. We need, she has a crib, but we need like a potty and a high chair for her. Obviously money is kind of tight, but again, these guys are also low key, key doing their own rags to riches, which I'm pretty, I, I just like a good rags to riches, okay? It just makes me happy. So I'm just going to be buying her the cheapest version of stuff like this cheaper high chair here. Uh, can I get it in green? Th that is kind of green. I should get everything green for Tiana. And then the cheapest little practice potty here as well, which I think is probably probably gonna have to go in her room here for now. So as you guys know from the movie, Tiana is super super close with her dad and he isn't gonna be around for the longest amount of time so we're spending as much time with him as we possibly can. And right now he's helping us learn to do the potty. Dad does odd jobs although at some point he just does join the military so I will be doing that. If you guys 
guys remember as well, we've got a whole bunch of neighbors that I've moved in as roommates that I just kind of like around and about doing their own thing as well. Having cocktails and doing doing little toasts and stuff, which I kind of love. But we have this whole community spirit. I built all these houses here and I built the houses here as well. But of course, not all the houses are these shotgun little houses. There are some bigger houses in New Orleans that are some, I, I'm gonna have to work out how to pronounce that word. I'm sorry, give me a hot sec. New Orleans. New Orleans. That sounds wrong. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. No. We've learned. And don't say New Orleans. Can I slang it together? Mm -hmm. Even though you'll okay, say so it's just New Orleans. What did he say? New Orleans. Don't New Orleans. Okay, New Orleans. I'm gonna start trying to say it like that. New Orleans just sounds like leans. I don't know. I just like that more. But New Orleans is where we are right now. And also at some point, little Cinderella, your child has now become a toddler. There's a little bit more free time in your life. I'm kind of vibing that maybe she joins what will be the fashion career in The Sims so that she can become a seamstress, which is exactly what she does in The Princess and the Frog. So why don't we try and find her a job. I'd love to get her to sit in on a school class, but I just don't think we can't have the cash. But we know that Tiana's mom gets really, really good at this and actually becomes the number one seamstress in New Orleans. New Orleans. Trendsetter or stylist. None of them are quite right, but I know that with this one you can work from home, which is good because then I can actually send her to the LaBeoufs to do her job there so that Tiana can hang out with Charlotte LaBeouf. Charlotte, whose character I absolutely love because they didn't go down the route of it being like a bratty girl that like is kind of mean to Tiana. They didn't go down that route at all. They actually went down the really like nice good friend route who even though she wants to marry the prince, I don't remember him too much, but she wants to marry the prince and princess and the frog so much, but not because of his personality, just because he's a prince. Perfect opportunity for them to then turn around and be like, oh, she's so mean. But instead they go down the awesome route of her being like, oh, but you you fall in love with him for who he is as a person. Girl, you guys belong together. I just want to be at your wedding. Maybe he can hook me up with a future prince down the line. Like, she's actually really nice about it, which I kind of love. And I really like that they went down the, like, good girlfriend kind of story route rather than the, like, oh, they're so rivally, they hate each other. Which you see too much with girl friendship. So it was really nice to see a positive one. I love this bed set up, but maybe I should give her a toddler bed just for now and I can pop these in the inventory because it's kind of a layering effect I got going on there. Okay, so there she goes. She goes a little froggy green bed. Everything's froggy green in this house. And Prince Kian is gonna read his little googie to sleep, telling her stories of his restaurant that he hopes to own one day. Once his kingdom's turbulent land has sorted itself out, once the wars are over, once his family has a little bit more money again, his kingdom not so great compared to some of the other princes. And um, we'll definitely be exploring that a little bit more in the future as well. And Cinderella's work from home requirement for a seamstress was just interview sims, learn a little bit about their fashion. She She's doing this with a charcoal mask on, which she got to love. But the fact that we've got roommates as neighbors is pretty awesome because I can just interview loads of people. And it's the first day of spring, so hopefully the weather's going to start looking a little bit more New Orleans soon. Am I saying that? Every time I say it, I have to think so hard. Um, Pokian has his first job first thing in the morning. He works as a manual laborer and then he picks up an odd job in the afternoon. So he always has a lot going on. Tiana's coming to come and wake him up though. Look at this. Wake up, dad. There's no rest for the wicked. Not that he's wicked. He's actually lovely and still really happy that he's got little Tiana in his life. Although he is going to wee on her if they're not careful. And he's only got time for like a quick morning play with her before he has to head into work. But still super, super cute. She's wearing a Cinderella little rig out who's actually her mom. So that's the reason I did that. So if you guys were saying that her name comes from, she's actually called Ella. And then the cinders from working cleaning the fires is why she got the nickname Cinderella from her ugly stepsisters or mean stepsisters. However, I kind of like, I like the name Cinderella. I think it's pretty. So we are going to be keeping that name for her. Let's cook some pancakes for Tiana. I know we said that Cinderella would never cook, but you know, dad does have to go and do some manual labor. Off he goes in his little heart. <laughs> Look not so much 1920s, but shh, okay. I can't control his work outfits. Actually, I think with the mod, I can do, but it's fine. And no word of a lie, Tiana has just spent like an hour and a bit of in-game time pooping. Like, how can it take that long to poop? I don't understand. Ooh, my roommates all paid me rent. I got a thousand dollars in rent. What? Have I got bills to pay? Like, surely that doesn't add up. I think once I have bills, they're going to be really high because there's like five houses here. But everyone paid me a hundred dollars rent. So we got a thousand dollars. 
Oh wow, and people are even scooping my snow for me. Thank you, kind neighbors. That's so lovely. And Kian's home, so let's go ahead and grab him a little odd job. Because what I also need to do is I need to take Bruno to the vets. He's been pooping gold poops for quite a while now, so. And oh my gosh, this was here last time. Frogs for research. It's almost too good to be true, isn't it? Actually having frogs as a thing when you're doing the princess and the frog thing. So I feel like we need to go and try and catch frogs. Oh, in Muapella. What? No, that's so far away. I hate this job. This messes with my plans for the day, but okay, whatever. We're going on a quick little family trip, which was definitely not part of Princess and the Frog, but we're going to go with it anyway. We're going to have to go ahead and do a quick travel. It will actually be to weather that is more similar, <laughs> more similar to the heat of New Orleans than where we are right now, I would say. So just bear with me because we need to catch frogs. The only reason I'm allowing this is because of the frogs. The frogs are kind of important. They're a pretty big theme for Princess and the Frog, obviously. So we're going here because we need to visit this waterfall. So we can actually spend some little cute family time together at the beach with little Tiana. Are you still in your nightdress? Can you please put on your cute little green, frog green little outfit for the beach? There you go. Oh, freaking adorable. This is definitely not the way that things, ooh, attract frogs. This is what I need to do. This is not the way things went, but I don't know. We, there's a lot of the film we didn't see. It kind of did a pretty big time jump, so I feel like he can definitely go and catch some frogs in here, and that could be completely canon. Oh, he's found a heart of Solani. Oh my gosh, you know he has to give that to Cinderella. Oh, and yes, success! We found a frog. And then we can have a cute day making little sand sculptures together as well. This is the side we get to see in the movie. Just like cute family time. It's wholesome, it's adorable, and I'm kind of there for it. Look at little Tiana building. Look, she's building Tiana's place, her restaurant, but out of snow, but oh, what out of no where it just turned into a little troll dwarfing, but just pretend it's a restaurant, okay? She's building a restaurant out of snow because that's her dream one day. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this half Solani, the green one, is rare. It's actually worth 1,200 simoleons, but we're not gonna sell it. It's a gift for Cinderella. And we caught some extra frogs so that we can give one of them to little Tiana as well because I feel like a pet frog. I don't know, it's almost too perfect. I feel like her having her own little pet frog in her room is just like, it's so meta and I love it and I'm totally there for it. So first of all, little Cinderella with her new short and 1920s hair and swimsuit, getting her heart of Solani as a gift, which I feel like she's very, very happy with. Adorable, very, oh my gosh, she's actually blushing and has given him a rose back. So freaking cute. And then it's getting dark, so we're gonna head home soon. But for little Tiana, we're gonna give her a little frog. I don't advise going to places, taking wild animals out of their natural environments and giving them to talk. 100% no, that is not what this is about, but this is Tiana and it's a frog. Like, she's gonna be one one day. She needs to know how they operate. And since Makoa's here and he has just the best fashion, really, like anyone that can rock wearing goggles that often, we have to interview him about his fashion. He can be my final interview as part of my work from home assignment. And then we'll have to head home. I think Bruno especially has enjoyed his time at the beach as well. Having a little sleep on the sand here. Well, I think Tiana potentially. It's time for her to go back home to bed. She's so freaking cute. Oh, uh, yep, she's angry and tired so let's get butts back home please so a tiring day back home the snow is cleared which is amazing and tomorrow we can send cinderella and tiana in to the labouf's family home so that she can tailor some clothes for little charlotte who is very spoiled very rich but still kind of a nice adorbs little person and we're gonna have to put little tiana's frog in her room as well maybe pop it on this little dresser here because she is the princess and the frog and there we go oh you're <laughs> You are not a green frog, but we'll allow it, okay? Just, we'll just allow it. And oh no, some of my roommates are leaving because of bad living conditions. They've got everything they need. Guys, what's wrong? What is wrong with your living conditions? There's nothing wrong with them. You guys are just being too picky. I don't understand. Oh well, every time someone moves out, I will just move in another one of your families. And with Cinderella, we'll get her to work from home today so that we can actually go to the Laboofs, which I am excited about. Although we have to wait for our little princess says to wake up first and she's woken up real angry <laughs> luckily kian has just baked some sugar cookies the quality is still poor we need to do a little bit more work on that yet but these things take time okay he's tried to improve his game they're still poor quality but he's made some gummy bear pancakes 
And oh my gosh, our bills are 3,000. Okay, that's so much more money than what we got in rent. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to try and do a good job today because we need all the money we can get from being a seamstress. It's gonna be hard work trying to pay these bills. Kian's picked up an odd job at 1 p.m. today helping someone with a TV hookup so we can leave him here. So let's us two head out and go and meet the Levives. So I've moved them in to this house here, which is like one of the bigger houses and also it's a little bit away from the shotgun houses, which makes sense because you kind of saw her tram when she was on it go through like a lot of the neighborhoods until it got back to this house. So that's kind of why I did it that way. Realism from a cartoon. <laughs> and oh my gosh, Charlotte's literally outside. Okay, I wanted to quickly share where I'd got these guys from. This is the Labouffs I'm using. It's by Espresso 044. Elijah, that's his name. And Mika, Mikal, they're Persian pets. So we've got all three them here. I've added some CC onto mine just to make them match my game a little bit more. And this is their neighborhood compared to ours. As you can see, it's very different, but it does have the same tram line running through it. And this is their beautiful house. I know it doesn't look quite as grand as the one. I mean, it's still pretty grand. It's still a big, beautiful home because these guys have a lot of money. And is he a mayor? Is he running for mayor? I feel like he might be the mayor. And I'm gonna let Tiana have her first ever introduction to little Charlotte as well. Charlotte wearing a very, very cute little dress there. But Elijah wants to see if Cinderella can make some nicer dresses with her new seamstress work. And Kian is heading off to his odd job, so that's awesome. Okay, so we've got Cinderella here with Elijah LaBeouf. Does look a lot- Oh wow, she's interviewed all on her own. I was gonna get her to interview him, but she's already on it. And honestly, they've also really nicely in the show not gone down the whole route of, oh, just because somebody's rich, they're probably a jerk. Because actually, Elisha's really nice as well. They're just like a nice family. There's no real mention of Charlotte's mum, but Elisha does a nice job of like raising her into a nice kid. And while their parents are downstairs uh, chit-chatting away, we've got Tiana and Charlotte here playing a little dolls together because when you're a kid, and you don't quite understand the boundaries that like usually can separate people. You don't care about them and that's something that's really nice about the friendship that Charlotte and Tiana have. Like their wealth and different circumstances, it never gets in between them and I kind of love that. So look at this. Cinderella's feeling all inspired after hearing all the beautiful dresses that Elijah wants to get made for his daughter. And we've learned that Elijah is good. That's so nice. The other thing that we also obviously learn in the movies is that Charlotte not only has all these amazing dresses, but she- oh, Snow White is here. Okay, random. <laughs> I guess I'll interview you as well. But she's also more than happy to lend them and even more or less give them to Tiana, which is so sweet. So I'm gonna offer Elijah some gratitude and then because of the mods I've got, I can ask her to just ask him for some money. It's just gonna be like, oh, can I get some uh, money to buy like the textiles and stuff I need to make the dresses rather than please give me money, uh, $7. I feel like I'm gonna need a bit more than that. And this is the room that kind of comes with the house, but I mean, in the books, it's pretty insane. It's very, very princessy. So look at all the dresses she has. Oh my gosh. I feel like we should definitely glam up her room a little bit. Oh, and Kim was not great at his job. He tried to fix someone's TV, but I guess in these days, TVs are still new. Like people are only just starting to get TVs. It's not gonna be easy to repair them, but I'm gonna go ahead and make Charlotte's room even more amazing. Her room as a toddler has its own private balcony and private bathroom. Like what even is that. Okay. I think that's looking pretty princessy. I even put a walk-in wardrobe there ready for when they're older so they can try on clothes together. And I think that's all you could ever think to squeeze into a princess-like room. Ironically, Tiana at this point technically is a princess. However, oh my gosh, look at Tiana straight into her bed. Her family uh, and Kiana have given up their wealth to try and save the kingdom, whereas I guess like wealthy nobles and stuff might not be as interested in doing that. Oh, I need to get um, Tiana's mum to read to them so she can read them the princess of the story and the frog. But these girls are both like so adorable together. Like so adorable. The room is so beautiful and princessy. I still wish you could paint ceilings. Oh, Elijah's come in to come and check on them in here. But they are so cute already and I'm kind of loving that so much. However, it's getting late. I think I'm gonna go ahead and send them home because we don't want to put these guys out. And we'll have a think about some dresses we can design for Charlotte. Um, 
maybe some of the cast-offs we can give to Tiana. Oh, we get home and Kian's heading off to another job because we're still miles away from the amount of money that we need to pay our bills right now. Not fun. Oh, and Tiana's playing with her dream, uh, little, I was gonna say dream house. It's a doll house. It could be a dream house, which is obviously much smaller and much less grand than Charlotte's, but still really cute. And I like to believe that she's like, instead of dreaming of a house full of dolls, she's dreaming of a restaurant full of patrons. And oh my gosh, another failure. Our, our job's rating has actually dropped. Oh, Kian, you're trying, but I think being raised a prince has definitely made you not great at uh, uh, normal human being stuff. I think you might have to join that military job sooner than you think. And oh my gosh, one of our neighbors is having a baby, so they'll be moving. Oh, when they have babies, they're gonna leave, which is kind of sad, but I think I can add potentially a few more. So I'll add, I'll add some of your guys from the gallery for the next episode so I can move in some new roommates. And even though Kian is feeling insecure from not doing great at his job, he has cooked a delicious meal for the farm's franks and beans. So it's gonna be a farty household, but it's also gonna be a yummy household. And little Tiana appreciating, oh, where did it just go? <laughs> I was gonna say appreciating her dad's home cooking, but I don't know if she ate it that fast that it literally disappeared. You can have this one instead. There you go. <gasps> and oh my gosh, we've been promoted already. They've given us a basic camera. But in your head, imagine it's, you know, those really like old ones where you put it over your head and then wind it and like take the picture and everyone has to stand still for ages. That is how we're gonna imagine things, okay? And we'll get her to work from home again today. And oh my gosh, we've only got 24 hours to pay our bills. Even with her promotion, we're not quite there. <sighs> it's tough. It's meant to be though. Like the family is meant to be finding things a little bit tough. Do you want to make a donation to charity? Absolutely not. I'd love to, but we really can't afford it. You've picked an awful time to ask me. But she's up. She's feeling inspired. She's eaten Kian's leftovers for breakfast. I need to interview three Sims. And then we will head over to the Labouffs so that these guys can head out, but also so that we can see if Charlotte likes her dresses. And poor Kian, even though he's bored out of his mind, look, he's fun. Because he spends all of his time working. He's just doing, he's already done one odd job and he's getting ready to leave for another one soon. Okay, Kian's heading off for his second odd job. Bless him. Two is fitting in in one day, and we are gonna go ahead and travel back around to the booths. Oh, and Elijah, a oh, big daddy, is out back. Oh, he's cooked food for us. I don't know if he knows how much we're struggling with the money right now, but that is so, thank you so much. You're such a nice man. Oh, he's got a few little skin problems right now, but it looks just like him, doesn't it? It really does. Tiana's getting to know the little kitty cat. I don't really remember the Kit Kat, but I trust your judgment that there was one. And Tiana's saying hello to her. And what I'm gonna do is build a big old wall of mirrors in here so that those guys can try on their dresses. Also, a book bookshelf so that we can read the story of the princess and the frog. Okay, I've added Charlotte to the family just so that we can try on some clothes together. And also we've got a big beautiful mirror in the room for the girls to try their dresses on. And a bookshelf. Um, we've moved the bookcase over here as well. Life looks so different when you have this low to the ground. Like, everything looks so... Okay, maybe they're not that low. But everything looks so huge. And Cinderella is in here, just like in the start of the movie, hanging out with both the girls, having a little chit-chat on them. They're hanging on her every word because it's Cinderella and they love her very, very much. Look at little Charlotte. And I'm hoping it's going to appear, but what if you guys link me to a dress that kind of looks... At the beginning of the film, Charlotte has this huge, poofy princess dress on because she dreams of becoming a princess one day. Okay, it's actually not as poofy as I was hoping it would be. I mean, this one's probably poofier still, but this one kind of looks, a, it looks pretty princessy, right? So I might give her this princess dress as like a little second outfit option. And then for Tiana, we were try. it was a bit of a trial and fail to get the, the material right. So you get one just to play in for now as well, okay? One thing I don't have and I really need is the little crown. They're playing princesses at the beginning and she has a little crown, which I don't have. So for now, you may have a small hat instead. <laughs> now, I know that Tiana wasn't dressed up as a princess when they did this, but I just thought it'd be kind of cute if they did. And why don't we read? Pretend Princess Plumbob, Princess Plumbob's castle is instead the princess and the frog. And we'll read the story to both girls. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. This is just like so much like the movie. But here she is reading the princess and the frog to the two girls, which is obviously the story of a frog that has to kiss a princess 
princess in order to return to his human form, which uh, Charlotte thinks is like the most romantic story she ever told. But Tiana kind of thinks the whole thing is kind of disgusting. She can't imagine why you'd ever want to kiss a frog. She just thinks that's gross. I now remember the cat because the cat gets launched onto the ceiling, doesn't it? But it is uh, Tiana's mom that reads a story to her, which in our tale is Cinderella. So we have met Charlotte LaBeouf. We have met both the LaBeoufs, in fact. We've read The Princess and The Frog. We've got that bit of the story out the way. I think in the next episode, I will go ahead and age her up into a child. And these guys can start doing the bit that you kind of don't see in the movies, which is growing up together, staying really close friends. And of course, Kian joining the army as well. Oh my gosh, look, they both look a bit like shell-shocked by that book. <laughs> Definitely a little bit shell-shocked, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another episode of my Disney Princess Challenge, Tiana Challenge 3. See you guys in another video. Bye.